All right, here we go with another video, lads. We are here. We're going to be doing a five-minute fantasy draft rebuild. Yes, another five-minute rebuild because I love doing them. They're fun. I like doing them, and you guys seem to kind of like them as well. So I'll keep going with them as long as you guys are enjoying these. But today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a fantasy draft five-minute rebuild. As you guys can see, we don't have a team, so we need a team here. And uh, before we select a team, though, be sure to subscribe. Subscribe, please. That'll be absolutely amazing. We're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers. And if you haven't pressed that red button, uh, what are you doing? Press the red button, mate. Press it right now. Right now. Cool, thank you. That's it. We're gonna choose our team now. And uh, yeah, Phoenix, we get the Suns. Let's see what pick we get. Uh, also, by the way, we're gonna let the computer pick our team, but we need to get a, uh, see what pick we have first. And we, oh, okay, it's not that bad. Not that bad, 19. Uh, depends on what who we get, but we'll let the computer, who's actually here real quick, Clay, Beal, Butler, all these guys we can trade for. Uh, is there anyone here that we can't trade for? John Morant, Jared Jackson Jr. or Marvin Bagley would be nice, but either way, we have to simulate the draft. I'll see you guys with our team. We end up with Donovan Mitchell, Jaron Jackson, Wendell Carter. That's not bad. We're going to get quite a lot of trade value from those guys because they're, you know, young. But the problem is, the problem is we have no one on big contracts. Our highest contract is Isaiah Thomas. So it's going to be pretty hard to get ourselves max players because we don't have anyone to trade them with. We got 61 million in cap space. Imagine this team getting Anthony Davis and having cap space the next season. Holy moly. But if you guys don't know, we have to find our first trade. And from that first trade, we have five minutes on the clock to make as many trades as we can to make this team better. And then, uh, yeah, we can sort out all of the rotations and all that type of stuff after the five minutes. But it, during that five minutes, we have to make all the trades that we can to build our team. So, yeah, let's try and find our first trade. I'm going to try and do this without giving up Donovan Mitchell. I have a feeling they're going to want Donovan Mitchell here instead. Uh, but uh, I'm going to try and do it without giving up Donovan because he is our most valuable player right now. And uh, I don't want to lose him right away. If I just give up two firsts, they're not interested. What if I chuck in a couple of seconds? Would that sweeten the deal for you? No, I'll chuck in another first. How about that? Just to, there we go. The timer has started just then. So here we go. We have got Bradley Beal, which means we can then trade uh, Donovan Mitchell away. We can move Steven Adams to the power forward, I just realized. And we can go Adams and Mitchell for John Collins. Eh, not the greatest. There's nothing. Kemba Walker and Wendell Carter. We get Wendell Carter back, but we also got Kemba Walker, which is pretty good. Our backcourt is not very good defensively. Let's just say that. Uh, we'll move Kemba to the shooting guard, which means Wendell and Kemba Walker could get us... Uh, I was hoping I was hoping that we could have gotten Paul George, but he isn't here. So I'm guessing Jalen Brown. Uh, I mean, I think we could probably do that without giving up Wendell Carter to get Jalen Brown. Uh, we can still get Chris Stapps playing this, which isn't bad. We need a point guard, and I'm thinking if we go Shea, we can maybe get someone nice. Uh, we might even go Brandon Ingram here. We're taking too long. We're just going to go straight up Chris Stapps playing uh, We can move him to the power forward, and he uh, should be all good there. So then if we go Boyan and uh, Wendell Carter, could we get someone here nice and easy, please? Steven Adams could work. He's on a max deal, sure. We'll go Steven Adams. He's on a max deal. That's literally the only reason why we got him. Can we also get a point guard or so Kemba Walker we can get back thank you thank you we get Kemba Walker back and then we could pair him with Alec Burks and what could we get please we could get John Wall John Wall and or we could get this first Cavaliers first and Clint Capella which isn't that bad so Isaiah Thomas and oh we've also got Matisse Tybal. I just realized uh, we're gonna go like this make sure everyone's getting the most value out of them uh, and uh, yeah, we should be alright. We've got three and a half minutes left. So Tybal, Isaiah Thomas, and this uh, Cavaliers first, which has three stars. What are we able to get? Montrez Harrell is actually kind of dope. Yeah, I like that Montrez Harrell deal the best. We also get Davis Burton's in that, so that should work out nicely for us. Montrez, we can move to the power forward, and then we can go Trez plus Burton's and say this first here. 2024 first, and we could get John Collins and Tristan Thompson. That's pretty good. I mean, do we need a power forward? No, we got Pazingas. We don't need a power forward. We need a what small forward would be best so yeah brandon ingram welcome to the teammate and uh, now we've got malik monk who we can use in a deal if we he's got a bit of trade value as well so we could go malik monk and we could get ourselves robert covington who we can move to the power uh, small forward sorry and his value shall go up we need a point guard real bad so covington and nicolo melli could we get ourselves a point guard please anyone uh, a good point guard please is needed uh, i don't see one coming up i see 
Ooh, Dennis Schroeder, or I see Fred Van Vliet. Like, Fred Van Vliet, if he comes up here. Oh, we could get Lou Will and Zubach. That could work out for us. We could go there and there. And there we go. Their value should go up. Lou Will and Zubach, excuse me. I've got the hiccups now. Can we get a point guard? Come on. Come on, 2K. Derek Rose works for me. We also got Jakob Pearl. Jakob Pearl. Uh, D Rose, we can go and go like this and this. And their values, again, should go up. And what could we get here? A point guard, please? anyone want to give us a point guard no no one wants to give us a point guard god damn uh oh this is bad i mean eric bledsoe will do for now eric bledsoe there we go we've got ourselves ourselves a starting five at least we have a starting five now we need to work on the bench here Karras and Dion Waiters. Could we get someone to come off our bench? Oh, I do see Devonte Graham. He could be someone that we could use off of our bench. Noah Vonley also could be someone if we really wanted to. Hazonia and Vonley, what could we get with these guys? A center, preferably. <laughs> uh, New Orleans Noel, I did see him. So if we could get Noel, that would be absolutely amazing. I did just waste some time because I accidentally pressed start on the wrong trade. Uh, so where is he? There he is. We also get Markeith Morris, which isn't the worst to have coming off of a bench. Uh, then we can go Morris and Caterbase Diop. I keep saying that and then instantly trading them. Um, Dougie McDermott, sure, we'll do that. Um, what do we need now? I think we need a shooting guard or something. A power forward probably to come off the bench. That would be lovely if we could find a power forward, please. Anyone wants to come over? Jakob Pertl? Sure, we'll do that. He could play the power forward or center if we wanted him to. Uh, Jakob, and then we could go Jakob plus McDermott. What could we get here? Anything of value? We can get Brook Lopez. That's not the worst. We got 30, just over 30 seconds. Uh, OG Ananobi and Tyler Johnson. There's probably better deals out there. I don't necessarily want Tyler Johnson. Brook Lopez, I guess we'll do, man. I guess we'll have to make do with Brook Lopez for now. If we go like this, he goes up to an 82. We got just oh, under 20 seconds here left. So this is going to be a tight one here to fill out our bench. But we could just go. Ah, oh, um. We need a center, so Ennis Cantor, Joe Ingles works for me. We got 10 seconds left, and I don't know what we need. I don't know what we need. Uh, we go like this, I guess. Could we get ourselves a decent player by Lee? No, no, no. You know what? We'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. In all honesty, I don't know how I think how I like this team. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, by the way, we're going to be playing Ennis Cantor at the power forward just uh, over no Noel, just because Noel can play a bit more defense. That's literally the only reason. So I'll sort out all rotations and type, that type of stuff. i see you guys when it's all sorted. So here we go. Here's our rotation. Bledsoe, Beal, Ingram, Pazingas, and Capella starting five. We then have Cantor, Graham, Noel, and Ingles coming off of our bench. we got Beal, Pazingas, and Ingram as scoring options. We've got a three and a half star system with balance, and we are the projected... Uh, we're projected 30th. Jeebus. We've only got the one all-star this year in Bradley Beal, but he is our best player. At the end of the season, we went 53 and 29. Luca won MVP, putting up Luca numbers. Ja Morant, Demarcus, Kawhi, Luca won most improved, and Dwayne Casey, coach of the year. Do we get any Phoenix Suns, all NBA teams? It would be awesome if we did, but we didn't. However, we did finish as a one seed, so that's pretty dang awesome, uh, being able to finish as a one seed. Bradley Beal put up 26, 3 and 5. Damn, Pazingas 18, 8 and 1. Bledsoe 15, 3, and 5. Ingram, 15, 4, and 4. Devontae, 11, 1, and 5. So good numbers there by our team. Capella didn't even get as many as Cantor, but that's all right. Team stats, points per game. We were third. Our defense, on the other hand, wasn't the greatest. We were eighth, and our differential was the fourth best in the league. So let's just simulate playoffs here against the Timberwolves of all team. I don't know who's still on that team. I'll probably check it later, but, uh, I mean, they do manage to tie the series. So, I oh, know What's going on here, lads? What's going on? Uh, 3-2. Okay, we've got a game seven. We should probably check to see who they've actually got on their team. Lonzo, Trez, and Gobert. Huh? How is this team scoring on me? I don't understand how this team is, like, you know, outscoring us, but, like, um, it's close. Oh, my goodness. No. Okay, it's not really close. I at 10 points. Yeah, okay, cool. We win by nine points, and we go on to the second round where we're taking them on the Golden State Warriors, who have John Collins and Bam Adebayo. Ooh. Could be a close series. I mean, we lose game one. Uh, that's never a good sign that we lose game one. Uh, two each. We go up 3-2. And we are going to the Western Conference Finals against the Mavericks, who have Clay Thompson and Hassan Whiteside. Very nice. And Spencer Dinwiddie as well. So this is a pretty good team that we're going up against. And they've managed to tie the series. Once again, tied the series. We're up 3-2. Game seven. Oh, no. 
can we win game seven at home here? We have a good first quarter. We have a good second quarter. We have a good third quarter. Ah, uh, yeah, we've, uh, we're definitely up. We've run away with that one. Thank you. We're going to the finals, and we're taking on the Knicks, who have Paul George and Andre Drummond. And Derek Rose coming off the bench. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, we're up 3-1, though, so we could go sing cast and jump in for the last two minutes if we are winning, that is. We might be losing. We are the bloody sons, aren't we? Yeah. It's actually a kind of a close game, so we could actually jump in and... Yeah, okay, sure, let's jump in for the last minute and 44, 43. All right, here we go. Uh, we're playing here. we just got to try and win the game here. we just got to try not to blow the lead. That's what we're trying to do. we we'll are chuck it to Pazingas, who can chuck it to Ingram. You know what? I don't... Ingram has, Ingram has an A plus three. Damn. Uh, could we chuck it to Capella, who cannot hit it? Okay, lovely. Um, I didn't expect that to happen, but it's all right. Bledsoe is locked down defender. We <laughs> should be okay with Bledsoe guarding their point guard in Derrick Rose. We should be all right. But we on ball defense in this ch on this channel. We play defense on ball because we ain't no pussies. Uh, we play defense on ball. Uh, we managed to let Tucker hit a free throw, uh, not get a wide open three, sorry. And um, chuck it to Bledsoe, who's wide open on the perimeter. He shoots the three, misses. Uh, we'll chuck it back to Cancer, who can, who chucks it to Ingram. We can pump fake. We'll go around. We'll step back. We'll chuck it to Cancer. Give us a screen over here. We'll shoot with Enes Cancer, even though he's got a D. I <laughs> don't know why I shot with him, but you know what? Why not? I mean, is Bradley Beal in? Yeah, he is. Okay, we're good. He's left wide open there as well. We'll just hit the easy two, man. I'll hit the easy two. <laughs> Why was he left wide open? So we got to play a bit of defense. We're going to play defense on PG because I'm pretty sure that's who they're going to go to and try and hit a three. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm like 90% sure they're going to try. Oh my goodness. They didn't even hit a three. They wanted the two. They tried to play it safe. Bradley Bill, here we go. Ah, oh, they're going to go for the fouls. It's not even... Oh my goodness. Paul George has four fouls. Imagine if we managed... Why are they called a timeout? Okay. I don't know why they're called a timeout, uh, but thanks, 2K. Okay, Bradley Bill. Um... Yeah, they just fouled us again. Paul George has five fouls now. We can foul Paul George out here. Uh, we hit one free throw, which is going to probably solidify. If we can hit both, then we've won the game. We do hit both. I don't think the Knicks are coming back here, lads. I don't think so. So, we're just going to play some defense on PG because I have a feeling they're going to go to Paul George every single time. Uh, and they're just going to... I don't know why they hit go for the twos. I don't know why they keep going for twos, man. Um... I don't know, but we'll just give the ball to... Uh, I don't know who that was. That was Brandon Ingram. I don't mind Brandon Ingram hitting some free throws. I don't mind that at all. We'll just keep going. And we'll, Brandon Ingram has 23 points. Good on you, B.I. He now has 24 points. Good on you, Brandon. I like that. There's no way they're coming back from now. They're just going to keep fouling and timeouting. They just use their last timeout, and the shot clock hasn't even finished yet. So we'll just play some defense, and I think we should be all right if we just keep playing some defense here. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to go over there, yeah. Um, uh, Paul George. Is left wide open from the three-point line, and uh, we just let him score. Um, where's Bill? There he is. We let PG foul himself out because uh, there's no way he's going to be hitting more than one clutch shot. He's fouled himself out, uh, and uh, we're just going to keep going like this. Green light those. Um, it was four points, but now it's five, and if we hit this one, it will be six. But, yeah, I'm just going to purposely miss this one. On okay, I thought we were purposely going to miss that, but no, we will actually make the free throw. Uh, so that's something. But yeah, 15 seconds. They need a three just to stay in it. And uh, they're going for the two. Uh, they miss it. Oh, no, they don't. They got Drummond to get the ball. And they're going to pass it out to Ariza on the three-point line who misses. And uh, they still managed to get... The oh, no, there we go. We got the ball. Nicely done. We can go over there and we've just won the game. We are the champions. Thank goodness. Fantasy Draft 5-Minute Rebuild and we're the champs. Let's go. So yeah, we won the championship and Brandon Ingram actually won the finals MVP. So good on you, B.I. Good on you, man. So here's our team. We have Pazingas and Bill, who are both 90 overalls. We had an 87, two 87s in Capella and Ingram. And Bledsoe was a good role-playing point guard for us. So he actually was turned out to be a pretty decent pickup for us. But that's going to do it for today's five-minute fantasy draft rebuild. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, he'll help us reach our goal of 3,000 subscribers. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that red button. It would mean the world to me if you guys could do it. And I post bangers every single day. So why the heck not subscribe, mate? But that's going to do it. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.